Hi everyone, welcome back to Workado for Beginners. In this video, we'll be covering how to use trigger conditions. If you haven't already, check out our Workado for Beginners video where we cover how to build a recipe with triggers and actions. To recap, in our last video, we built an automation for escalating support cases to engineering teams by connecting Salesforce and Jira. In this iteration, we will go through how to create escalations for cases that truly need the engineering team's immediate attention. We'll make the following enhancements to the automation. Create a JIRA issue only for cases that are type problem and high priority. I can do this by using the trigger condition. Trigger conditions are an easy way to filter events you want to process. I will navigate to the trigger section of the recipe, and here I will create a filter for events that kick off the recipe. First, I will add a condition for case type, which is the trigger data, equals, which is the condition, problem, which is the value that will be tested. Next, I'll click the plus button below to add a trigger condition for priority. I can select and, which will require both conditions to be met, or I can select or to specify that only one condition needs to be met. Since I want to check for both case type and priority, I will select and. Here, the trigger data will be priority, our condition will be equals, and the value will be high, which is the value that will be tested. The trigger condition here ensures that only cases of type problem and that are high priority are escalated to engineering to create an issue in JIRA. To test, let's see what happens when I create a new case of type problem and medium priority. After creating the new case, let's now go back to the recipe and let's click test up at the top to see if the trigger catches any activity to kick off the recipe. Here we can see the recipe has not found a trigger event since it doesn't match our trigger conditions, which is high priority and case type of problem. Let's say the case priority has changed to high because issues weren't resolved. We'll go back to Salesforce and update the case to be marked as high priority in order to kick off the automation. Now going back to the recipe test, once I click check now to look out for any new trigger events, you can see the trigger was processed and the recipe was successful. We can go to JIRA to validate, and we can see that a new issue in JIRA was created since it met our trigger conditions. You can easily use any combination of trigger conditions to define your business rules when processing events. And that's how you can use trigger conditions in your automations. To learn more, you can visit docs.workado.com. And as always, thank you for watching.